In this video, we will go over 20 aviation and nautical information questions for the ASTB test. If you learn the concepts, you can answer correctly. Let's get started. Number 1. What is the color code for crash and salvage crews? A. Red, B. Green, C. White, or D. Yellow. The correct answer is A. Red. This is because color yellow is for aircraft handling officers, plane directors, and catapult and arresting gear officers. Color brown is for the air wing, plane captains and air wing line leading petty officers wear. Color blue is directed by those who wear yellow, they operate aircraft elevators and tractors. Color green is the crew who maintain the catapult and arresting gear and hook runners. The most difficult and dangerous job on deck. Color red is the crew in charge of moving, mounting, and arming the plane's weapons. Color purple is the fueling and defueling planes is a dangerous procedure because of the hot engines and explosives on the planes, while color white is for the quality and safety observers, medical crew members, and inspectors. Number 2. Ailerons, elevators, and rudders make up what group of aircraft control surfaces? A. Primary, B. Auxiliary, C. Optional, or D. Secondary? The correct answer is A. Primary. This is because the movement of any of the three primary flight control surfaces, ailerons, elevators, stabilators, or rudders, changes the airflow and pressure distribution over and around the airfoil. Number 3. What is the name of the movement around the plane's lateral axis? A. Leaning, B. Stalling, C. Rolling, or D. Pitching. The correct answer is D. Pitching. These three axes, referred to as longitudinal, lateral, and vertical, are each perpendicular to the others and intersect at the aircraft center of gravity. The vertical, or yaw axis, is an axis drawn from top to bottom. The lateral axis or pitch axis is an axis running from the pilot's left to right. While the longitudinal axis or roll axis is an axis drawn through the body of the vehicle from tail to nose. Number 4. As the helicopter's rotor turns in one direction, the body of the helicopter tends to rotate in the opposite direction. What law or principle explains this action? A. Newton's third law, B. Newton's second law, C. Newton's principle, or D. Bernoulli's principle. The correct answer is A. Newton's third law. This is because Newton's third law states that for every action or force in nature, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Each engine is throwing air one way so the plane can move the opposite way. Number 5. What is the force that acts against an aircraft in flight? A. Lift, B. Drag, C. Gravity, or D. Thrust. The correct answer is B. Drag. A drag force is a resistance created by a body moving through a fluid such as water or air. It acts opposite direction of motion. Drag acts against an aircraft in flight. Number 6. What is the angle between the cord line and the relative wind called? A. The angle of attack, B. The resultant angle, C. The control angle, and D. The angle of incidence. The correct answer is A. The angle of attack. Angle of attack is the angle between the oncoming air or relative wind and a reference line on the airplane or wing. Number 7. What helicopter provides the all-weather capability for detection, classification, localization, and interdiction of ships and submarines? A. H-3, B. H-46, C. 
C, H, 53, or D, H, 60? The correct answer is D, H, 60. This is because the Sikorsky SH-60 or MH-60 Seahawk is a twin-turboshaft engine, multi-mission United States Navy helicopter based on the United States Army UH-60 Black Hawk. Number 8. A nautical mile is approximately A. 5,140 feet B. 9,230 feet C. 7,280 feet, or D, 6,076 feet. The correct answer is D, 6,076 feet. This is because a nautical mile is a unit of length used in air, marine, and space navigation, and the nautical mile is defined as 6,076 feet. Number 9. Which of the following is a flight instrument? A. Fuel flow indicator, B. Altimeter, C. A magnetic compass, or D. Accelerometer. The correct answer is B. Altimeter. This is because an altimeter is a device that measures altitude, the distance of a point above sea level. Altimeters are important navigation instruments for aircraft and spacecraft pilots who monitor their height above Earth's surface. Number 10. If one end of a runway was numbered 09, what number would designate the other end of the same runway? A. 75, B. 90, C. 27, or D. 50. The correct answer is C. 27. This is because runways are given two-digit numbers based on the magnetic compass heading or azimuth of the runway in tens of degrees. Runway 09 would therefore be the runway facing 90 degrees or due east, the opposite direction, due west, would have a designation of 27 for 270 degrees. Number 11. Three statute miles are equal to a. 2.607 nautical miles, B. 2.0 nautical miles, C. 2.3 knots, or D. 2.3 nautical miles. The correct answer is A. 2.607 nautical miles. This is because a nautical mile is equal to 1.15 statute miles. Three statute miles are equal to 2.60693 nautical miles. Number 12. The nickname for the F-14 is A. Hornet, B. Prowler, C. Growler, or D. Tomcat. The correct answer is D. Tomcat. F-14, also called Tomcat, is a two-seat, twin-engine jet fighter built for the U.S. Navy by the Grumman Corporation, now part of the Northrop Grumman Corporation, from 1970 to 1992. Number 13. What is the aerodynamic effect near the ground? A. Gravity, B. Compression, C. Ground effect, or D. Tensile effect. The correct answer is C. Ground effect. For fixed wing aircraft, the ground effect is the reduced aerodynamic drag that an aircraft's wings generate when they are close to a fixed surface. Number 14. What is the term for the upward angle between the right and left wings of an airplane? A. Upward angulation, B. Dihedral, C. Angle of attack, or D. Anhedral. The correct answer is B. Dihedral. This is because in aeronautics, the dihedral is the angle between the left and right wings. Number 15. The ailerons control what motion of the aircraft? A. Pitch, B. Roll, C. Yaw, or D. Skid. The correct answer is 
B. Roll. An aileron is a hinged flight control surface usually forming part of the trailing edge of each wing of a fixed-wing aircraft. Ailerons are used in pairs to control the aircraft in roll, which normally results in a change in flight path due to the tilting of the lift vector. Number 16. The phrase Semper Paratus is the motto of the A. U.S. FBA B. U.S. Coast Guard C. U.S. Navy Submarine Service or D. U.S. Air Force The correct answer is B. U.S. Coast Guard Semper Paratus is a Latin phrase, meaning always ready. Sometimes shortened to Semper P. It is used as the official motto of some organizations, such as the United States Coast Guard. Number 17. VFR stands for A. Venturi Flight Resonance, B. Velocity Flight Rules, C. Visual Flight Rules, or D. Vertical Flight Rules. The correct answer is C. Visual Flight Rules. Number 18. The first American to complete an orbital space mission is A. Neil Armstrong, B. John Glenn, Jr., C. Deke Slayton, or D. Alan Shepard. The correct answer is B. John Glenn, Jr. On February 20, 1962, astronaut John H. Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth during the three-orbit Mercury Atlas 6 mission, aboard the spacecraft he named Friendship 7. Number 19. What is the designation for a Sidewinder missile? A. A. I. M. 9. B. G. A. R. 8. C. C. P. V. 10. Or D. A. I. M. 20. The correct answer is A. A. I. M. 9. This is because A. I. M. 9. A. Or A. A. M. N. 7 Sidewinder 1 is the first production model for the U.S. Navy that employed infrared guidance. It was first successfully fired in 1953. This missile was approved for production by the U.S. Navy in 1955. Number 20. What does the tachometer measure? A. Measures the working speed of an engine, usually in RPM, B. Measures the airspeed of aircraft, C. Measure air pressure around the aircraft, or D. Measures an engine's fuel pressure. The correct answer is, A. Measures the working speed of an engine, usually in RPM. A tachometer is an instrument measuring the rotation speed of a shaft or disc, as in a motor or other engine. Download the ASTB Tutoring app for iOS or Android for more practice.